A new report by the Centers for Disease Control shows the diagnosis rate for autism is on the rise again. The recent study also reveals the rate of autism in minority children, not just on the rise, but increasing pretty quickly. NBC4 Sierra Johnson spoke with a local psychology expert on what may be contributing to the increase and then what this means for those in the medical field, too. Yeah, I spoke with that expert who says some of those numbers may initially be startling for folks mm -hmm. looking at them, but so many in this field that I had a chance to speak with say this has to do with an increase of awareness and a conscious effort to provide more equitable health care. Most of us have gotten familiar with the Centers for Disease Control in the context of the pandemic and all that they have done to help us um, monitor rates of COVID. And Dr. Eric Beuter, Chief of Psychology at Nationwide Children, says the agency has also worked to track the rate of autism diagnoses among children. Autism refers to a broad range of conditions characterized by challenges with social skills, repetitive behaviors, and speech and nonverbal communication. According to the latest data, which examines those cases in 2020, one out of every 36 children in the U.S. was diagnosed with autism. That's up from one in 44 children in 2018 and one in 150 children in the year 2000. As we increase awareness, we increase um, sensitivity to uh, identifying autism rates uh, in our broader population. He says that increase in awareness combined with the advancement in the tools used to diagnose autism contribute to what some could say appear to be a drastic increase. We have greater awareness, we have greater access to diagnostic tools um, and services. We have better diagnostic tools than we used to, and they're improving um, every month, every year. And for the first time, according to that CDC report, Asian, Black, and Hispanic communities are seeing a higher percentage of eight-year-olds with autism than the white community. There's no reason to believe that autism discriminates by race. Data this chief psychologist says was created by the advancement in autism testing, combined with steps made in providing more intentional, inclusive, and equitable health care. We're identifying more kids, we're identifying them younger. And, and as the CDC report um, uh, demonstrates, we are now uh, finally beginning to identify them in a more equitable manner. 